everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. I hope you're all well and having a great week. Today's quick stitch tutorial, we're going to be learning the beautiful loop stitch. This is a really fun textured stitch. So you've got your front of your work, which is all these lovely loops. And then on the back, you've just got a flat piece of work. It's a really simple stitch to do. All that you'll need is your chosen yarn and the recommended hook for that yarn. So grab your hook, grab your yarn, grab your cuppa and let's learn this stitch together. So to begin making the loop stitch, you're going to want to make a slip knot and pop that onto your hook. And the foundation chain for the loop stitch is any number of chains to the width that you want your project to be. And then add one extra chain on for a turning chain. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna chain 10 just to show you a really small sample. But if you want to press pause and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row one so that's my 10 and then i'll add my extra chain on for my turning chain so for row one we're going to do a row of double crochet now remember i use uk terminology in the us they are single crochets and we're going to start in the second chain from the hook so the yarn on your hook doesn't count as anything here's your first chain here's your second chain completely up to you if you go into the front of your chain or if like me you prefer working into the back bumps each chain is a bump that runs down the center so i'm just going to go into my second chain and place a double crochet and one double crochet in every chain across until you come to the end if you want to press pause while you work your way across row one and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row two i would imagine that you'll have a significantly bigger piece to be working with than I do but I'm coming up to the end of my sample piece here I've just got three more chains left to work into so there's nine and there's ten so to move up to row two you're going to chain one and turn your work this chain one is just a turning chain, it doesn't count as a stitch at all and we're going to work our first stitch here into this last double crochet that we've just placed. Now I prefer to just work a regular double crochet into this stitch but you can if you want work a loop stitch into that as well but then into this second stitch is usually where I work my first loop stitch and to work the loop stitch what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into that stitch and then the way that I like to do it is you pull your working yarn around and with the finger that usually secures your work you just hold it there at the base of the last stitch that you've just placed. You yarn over so your hook is picking up both strands of yarn that make that loop and you just pull that through the top of that stitch. So it looks look like you've got three loops on your hook at this point. You can then take your finger out of that loop and pick up your working yarn yarn over and finish off that stitch so let's do that again so i'm going to insert my hook into my next stitch make the loop by bringing it around and grabbing it with this finger here at the bottom of the last stitch that i've made wrap my hook around both of those strands of yarn and pull it through the stitch then i'll drop the loop pick up my working yarn yarn over and pull through all loops on my hook so insert your hook into your next stitch, make your loop and grab it at the base of the last stitch that you've made, yarn over and grab it onto both the strands of yarn that make the loop and pull it through that stitch. Drop the loop and pick up your working yarn, yarn over and pull through all loops on hook. And you'll just do that all the way across. Now it does take a little bit of getting used to because the different movements than what we're used to doing but once you've completed the stitch a couple of times then you kind of get in the flow with it so just have a little bit of patience it does take a little bit of practice so a couple of tips for you for when if you want to make it look like a different kind of texture 
is the rows, because obviously we've got a flat back, so every other row is just going to be a row of plain double crochet. If you wanted to space out your loop stitches, you could make the odd number rows a taller stitch, so you could do a half treble or a treble, and it would just mean that your loops are a little bit further apart than if you did the double crochet. So I'm just at my last loop stitch here, so I'm gonna make that last loop, yarn over, pulling through both of those loops that make up the loop, drop my loop, pick up my working yarn and finish off that stitch. And just like I did at the beginning, I'm gonna put a double crochet into that very last stitch. If you want to just do all loop stitches, that's fine as well. It's just I prefer to have a double crochet at the beginning and end of each row. Then you'll chain one. Again, that chain one is a turning chain. It doesn't count as a stitch. And you'll do a row of double crochet. So you'll place one double crochet into every stitch. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to your loop stitch rows to be further apart, then you could choose a taller stitch to work on your odd numbered rows. So that's the loop stitch for you. So odd number rows is just your plain stitch. So for me, I like doing double crochets, but have a play around with them and see which height stitch you like best there. And your even number rows are your loop rows. So have fun, happy hooking, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.